Okay, for this particular um, assignment, you guys are actually going to research some of the computer applications that are already on your computer. To do that, <clears throat> all you have to do is go to the Windows button, and you're going to see, obviously on yours is going to look a little bit different because I have teacher software, but you still have access to all of these Microsoft Office. So if you really wanted to make it easy, you could just go from one Office application to the next and so on. If you wanted to look at other ones, you could always go down here to where it says All Apps. And on your computer, it's going to show you all the different applications that are on your computer. Now, like I said, mine is going to look completely different because I've got a lot more things on there. But as you could see, that I have a ton anyway, and so do you. So really all you have to do is pick one and decide what you, which one you want to use. Now make sure it's a real application. Don't choose like phone or people. Really try to find an actual application that's on there. And again, the easiest ones for you to do automatically are going to be all of your office applications, but that's entirely up to you. Um, so let's say I take Excel, which is one you're going to want to know. Pops open. If you have no idea what Excel is, this is going to look really crazy. So don't even worry about it. Just kind of mess around, try to figure out what's going on. If you really have no idea what this is, you can always open up Google and type in the application that you're currently using. So if I want Excel, I'm going to come up here to type in Excel see what comes up and then you're going to see that they're going to try to sell you some stuff this is more uh, explanations if you use Wikipedia in this case not a bad place to start I can click in here and start to look at it I could even just look this over figure out what it is and then even copy and paste it in so here if I just come here and highlight right click on it go to copy I could come back over here click and go to paste I could definitely do that the other advantage to Wikipedia is that if you look there's already the program or the pictures already on there as well so to add the picture you're going to do the exact same thing I can come here right click on it copy the image Go back to my OneNote and in here, make sure my cursor is in that little box. Otherwise, your picture could end up all over. Right click and you're going to go paste. And you'll see that there's different paste options formatting, merge formatting, picture. You just want a, the picture. You don't want all the formatting stuff. So just click paste picture. And you'll see now I have a picture of Excel in that one. Right there so I could definitely do that one so those are a couple different ways that you can do um, that but other than that it's really entirely up to you so have fun with it explore experiment see what you can do